all events are neutral because all events are perceived from an individual's point of view and that individual's point of view is based on their perceptions and beliefs that were created um, usually in childhood about how they sense and perceive the world and we know this from when there's a football match and everybody's watching the same match some people are going to walk away from that match feeling happy because their team won and some are going to walk away not feeling as happy because their team lost and within the people whose team has lost some people will place a real importance on football um you know it means it reflects some one of the happiest days of their lives or it reflects um, beautiful childhood memories or something like that and so them losing it's even more devastating because it's like something about their childhood or nostalgia whereas some people go oh we lost oh well never mind so this is why it's important to look on all events as neutral we don't know the reason behind anything in Colin Tipping's book on radical forgiveness which is a really brilliant book and would thoroughly recommend it to anyone who's really wanting to step up in their spiritual journey and their self-responsibility into their life. But in it, he says, and I remember it so well, he says this thing that the more absurd or nonsensical the event, the more it's for spiritual growth and guidance. I read this book during the pandemic and you know the pandemic was a crazy time and in some respects it gave my ego and myself some solace in the moment that um this perhaps was an event that was spiritually guided and since we've come out of it the amount of people i've met or know who really grew and developed during that time of being stuck in their house um it's quite amazing, um, me included. If it hadn't been for lockdown, I don't think my life would look this way and I wouldn't feel this way. I wouldn't have done um, so much healing and letting go. And I wouldn't have really found a deep grounding in spirituality because I still would have been just go, go, go and out in the world and still seeing the external world as some form of solution to all of my problems it's not this job it's not that experience it's the next thing and once I leave the university and once I get that first job and all that kind of stuff you know back then I really wanted to be an actor so it was I'll get an agent and then I'll start auditioning for things and then then I'll get happy and all this kind of stuff whereas the pandemic made a lot of people realize that their happiness perhaps wasn't as external as they once thought and that given that their reality was that they were stuck at home, that was the thing to invest in themselves and being that happiness that they were once seeking. So yeah, all events are really neutral because they are all perceived through a subjective lens and felt through a subjective lens. And that subjective lens is created through childhood, through your own experiences, through your own traumas and beliefs and desires. And so then therefore, when we see events, we're only ever seeing them from our own point of view. And when we switch our experience from, you know, the ego and the individual to a more whole or wider point of view of I am, where we can see more the wholeness of an experience rather than our individual thread, that's when we're able to really experience life in how it's meant to be experienced. Um, and sometimes you have to trick yourself to do that. And a lot of that starts with perhaps recognizing that all events are for your healing so anytime you're triggered or upset by an event to see it as a way to develop yourself and to let go of some of these lenses that you've created some of these beliefs and triggers and traumas you've created you can use all of your experiences for that growth and for that development which is really beautiful and that growth and development and letting go will allow you to with more ease um, find I am and stay in that place because you're, you won't be triggered by the ego, you won't be triggered by the external world to pull you out of it. Um, 
Instead, you'll have a basis from which you can always return and always look back. And then from there, you'll start to see the neutrality of events. And I'm not saying that that makes you close-minded or um, selfish or anything like that. If anything, you, you learn to gain more compassion and more understanding, but you start to see that people aren't their stories and the world isn't the stories it is. It's all you and it's all your perception. And I value that, that's really valuable. So yeah, all events are neutral. They're all based on your perception of them. If you think that it's a good or a bad thing, a right or a wrong thing, then that's something to inquire about because that's suggesting duality, which is suggesting identifying with the separate self. And the journey here is to become more and more identified with I am. And for a lot of us, it may just be through that daily practice, that daily returning, that daily questioning and querying. And one day it won't be the struggle that it, it currently feels like it is, like it does sometimes feel like a battle, especially if you're not in the headspace to lay down, um, or the ego is to lay down the sword. Um, but trust me when I say that it is just far greater to continue on with that battle and to continue to remind yourself of truth and reside yourself in truth and make that the goal and that the priority in any situation. Because not only will you be inspired with great solutions if you are um, having problems or whatever, but you'll be given great peace and great security and great comfort and you will eventually return to truth and live in that place and sometimes the spiritual work and it is called work is needed first and to remember that yes all events are neutral what you're going through is a neutral event it is just whatever you have made of it and what you've made of it is coming from a separate self because the I am does not judge because everything is perfect in I am and I am only resides in presence <laughs>